The Lord be with you. Welcome to worship at ALC this evening, maybe this night. Today we begin our Lent. Lent begins today on this Ash Wednesday. I think it is said that uh, the lighting of candles in silent prayer. I don't see anyone coming up and lighting the candle. Could you please, anyone of the kids, please rush. After lighting the candles, then we'll sing the gathering hymn. Let us sing hymn number 606. O oh, Father, we have wandered. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Prayer of the day. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us a new honest hearts so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
I invite any one of you to come and do the reading, the song. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 51 and will be read responsibly. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. For I know my offenses, and my sin is ever before me. Indeed, I was born steeped in wickedness, a sinner from my mother's womb. Remove my sins with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be purer than snow. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my wickedness. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Let me teach your ways to offenders and sinners shall be restored to you. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a troubled and broken heart, O God, you will not despise. of eternal the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to the disciples be aware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them for for them they have no reward from your father in heaven so whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward, but... Whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismayed like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their, disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by father, but your Father who is in secret, 
and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Christ. Today the mic is working. <laughs> Thanks be to God. For Christmas, we had we have four weeks. For Christmas, we have four weeks to prepare to welcome our Savior into our hearts and home. But for Lent, we have six weeks. Lent. Lenty? Oh, man. I'm it's trying to disturb me today. <laughs> and for Easter, that's the Lent we begin today, six weeks. It's not to welcome our Lord, but to journey with him. journey with Jesus Christ. Six long weeks. That's what it's a lengthen. Lengthening days. That's why it's called Lent. Lengthy days has become a Lent. Long, long 40 days. 40 days. Why 40 days? What's the connection? In the Old Testament, the people of Israel, they journeyed 40 years to the land of, I mean, God-chosen land. 40 years. That's what we have a Lent for, Lenten preparation for 40 days. Come. Return to the Lord. Return to the Lord, rend your heart. The gathering hymn, really, it's a beautiful hymn. I don't know whether you listened. We have wandered, Lord, we have wandered foolishly, and we are coming home. That's the time. If you have gone far away from God's connection, God's baptism, God's love, Come to this day of journey, holy journey. Keep away all your worries, all the stress, all your disappointments, all your hurts, all your sins. Come. Come with the tons and loads of, loads of sins. Come to the Lord. Render your heart. God will make it great. Give your broken heart, broken selves, broken feelings, broken relationship, broken friendship, a broken life. Give let, let it to the Lord and God will make it great. He will wash it. He will mend it. He will restore it. And he will refine it. This is a place of refinement. This is a place of repair, restoration. This is a place of love. This is the place of what I mean. This is the this is the day to reconnect with our Lord and journey with Him. This is Lent. 
40 days. What are your plans for Lent? What are your plans? Did you think of making a plan to have the ashes on your forehead? I said that before coming to the service, I said, the folks some makeup on your face. <laughs> Have makeup. No one likes that. But to put on ashes on your face, no one will like it. Even I don't like it. But we are going to put on ashes because it's a sign of humility, sign of openness. A sign of your baptism. A sign of God's love. That I'm God's child. I'm going to walk with him. I'm a sinner. I have sinned enough. I will get distance from my Lord. And I heard someone. I gossiped about someone. I stole something. I did not spend my time in proper way or in a healthy way. I used and abused. I rejected someone. I hated someone. Come, come and put on the ashes on your forehead and walk with the Lord. It's a symbol, a symbolic. Why ashes? It's a sign of simplicity. A sign of repentance. Sign of uh, being a penitent. Lord, I'm a sinner. Reminding us of our mortality. Reminding us of our God's life that God has given to us. Wonderful life. Beautiful life. Don't miss it to live in Christ. This is the reminder. When we Put on ashes on your forehead. It reminds us how wonderful God is to welcome us. Join him to walk with him. That's what it means. So what are our plans? I can propose plans. If you are, if you are an alcoholic, please give up. Not fully. At least some. If you, are drinking a, if you are drinking alcohol for, in your day, one bottle of beer or two bottles of beer, give up at least one. Give up for your good health. This is the reminder that we have gone beyond. God invites us, come back, come to me. Come to me, I'll make you straight, I'll make you great. God helps us. When we cooperate, when we walk with him, God supports and lifts us up. If you are a smoker, I mean, chain smoker, come on, give up some. It's for your good health, for your heart and soul. If you are addicted to a cell phone, that's the most dangerous things now. Beyond all the smoking, drinking, now cell phone addiction is on the top. <laughs> it's on the top of everyone. And this is the time. This is the time. Sometimes some people have a double screen or triple screen. The TV will be running, the, on the, on the, then we have cell phone, then again another phone. We'll be watching double screen, triple screens. Is it not? Is it good? Is it good? That you have cell, cell phone is marvelous, powerful machine, engine, or a gadget, whatever. It's a powerful, wonderful. But do, do you think that it's, a, do you, are you aware that it's destroying your, your relationship with your parents, your brothers, sisters, your friends? Even it takes away your memory. Your personality. It kills you slow. It's a completely slow poisoning. 
It's good as long as you have a control over it. Don't allow the phone to control you. If you are smart, if you are very smart, if you know what the life is God has given to us, especially Christians, you should know the, the difference between good and bad. Be aware. This is the day. Then now, one more final thing. Spend one minute for God. One minute. Just one minute out of your 24 hours. One minute for God. Take the Bible every day. Read it. One verse. One minute. Make a habit. As you are addicted to the cell phone, smoking, alcohol, drinking, all kind of addictions, get addicted to the Bible. Take one minute. I'm not asking one hour, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. No, just one minute. Make it a habit and read. Read the Bible. God speaks to you. And you speak to the Lord. And the Lord speaks to you. This will be the greatest and wonderful London practice. That's it. That's what Jesus says. When you pray, when you do arms, when you are a charity, inside, must go inside. Not outside. Don't worry about outside. You put up lots of makeup and no problem. Put on any clothes. Jesus is not bothered about anything externally. What we do. All the external manifestations of makeup. No. He's least bothered. But beautify your heart. Beautify your heart. If it is marred, if it is spoiled, it is disturbed or it is deteriorated, please go into See yourself, your heart, your life, your relationship, your friendship, your children, your family, your working area. Wherever you find some problems, restore it. That's what Jesus means here. Restore your heart during these 40 days. It's not a habitual one. Okay, last year we had Lent and it, it, it went without touching me, without changing me, without teaching anything don't have that same thoughts or attitude of the last year bring something new come back come to the Lord and journey with him not only you alone journey with your family with your husband with your wife with your children with your friends with all your family come that's what the first reading we have it here Return to the Lord with the whole family, singing and praising and journeying with him. Don't be, let's not be ashamed of being a sinner. We are all sinners. The more we realize that we are sinners, the more you become better. Become, become more and more the child of God. And Paul says, confess your sin. Don't be ashamed. We all are sinners. But just let us be refined, let us be purified, let us allow ourselves and give it to God. Render, let us render our hearts to God. I conclude with the gospel, I mean the Bible reading of Ezekiel 26, 36. Lord, I give my heart. It's a stony heart. It is a sinful heart. This is a heart that has no feelings of love. It's completely, completely out of your touch. Lord, I give this heart and make it good. Make it. Mend it. Make it a fleshy one. The stony heart, please change into your flesh heart. Fleshy and make me good. This is what we have to do. Please.
journey well. I wish you all the, all the blessings and the grace of God. God to be with you, and you have to be with God. Now, God is always with us. Don't forget that you have to be with God. Let us journey together and make this Lent, Lent beautiful, graceful, and wonderful in Christ. Amen. Let us sing 793. Imposition of ashes. That's we'll pray and bless the ashes. Almighty God, you have created out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality and penitence, reminding us that only by the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ are give, are we given eternal life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The ushers will help you to come on online. Since I'm alone, uh, just make a one line. Just come forward for the ashes, for the application. Dust unto dust you shall return. Amen. You are dust, you are dust, you shall return. Amen. You are dust and dust and shall you return. You are dust and dust you shall return. Amen. Maybe you can say all of you, Amen. When I say the prayer, you are dust and dust you shall return. You are a dust and to dust you shall return. Amen. You are a dust and to dust you shall return. Amen. You are a dust and to dust you shall return. You are a dust and to dust you shall return. You are a dust and to dust you shall return. 
But it does turn. It does the usual return. Yeah, it does turn to dust. It should turn to. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. But it does turn to dust. You shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn, you shall you return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it does turn to dust, you shall return. Where it 
dust unto dust you shall return it. Your dust unto dust you shall return. Your dust unto dust you shall return. Your dust unto dust you shall return. Your dust unto you shall return. Your dust unto dust 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 you shall return. Your dust unto you shall to return. Offering.
please stand for the blessings. Beloved, we are God's own people, holy, washed, renewed. God bless you and keep you, shower you with mercy, fill you with courage, and give you peace. Amen. Hymn number 319, O Lord, throughout these 40 days. See? 